Hi guys. Got a little project here from Anjali Bangar. Has to make a car from two sheets of paper, two pieces of four inch wire, and it has to roll for two to three feet without anything like an electric motor or an electric fan or anything like that. You've just got to be able to push it and it should roll for two to three feet. So, first problem is wheels, I would think. I'm going to try and cut some discs for the wheels. I'll cut two discs for each wheel and then I'll use this glue stick to stick them together see if I can make them strong enough to support themselves. This paper's not very strong but if I make, say, two discs, stick them together with a bit of a gap in the middle that should make them a little bit stronger. We're a bit limited on the amount of paper we've got so I'm going to make the wheels, I'll make them two inch diameter. Yes, the paper's just over eight inches wide, so I should be able to get one, two, three, four circles or discs. Eight from that amount of paper. I've marked those marks one inch up from the edge. three inches up from the edge. Set my compass to one inch. Now I'll cut those out. That's my eight discs. I'm going to glue them together in pairs using the glue stick and I'm also going to use these pieces that were between them and put them in the middle to give it a little bit more thickness, a bit more strength. Now I'm going to leave them to dry I'm going to put them under a plastic, they're on a plastic surface and I'm going to put them under a plastic bag and then I'm going to put a book on top of them to make them go flat as they dry. Now we need to make the chassis of the car. I'm going to make it in a straightforward two side pieces, two cross members. The cross members will be the axle tubes, so I'm going to wrap some paper round something to make it into a tube and the two side members I'm going to make into tubes as well so I'm going to wrap paper around something else for that. I've got a plastic drinking straw here that I can wrap some paper around and I've got a bamboo cane here that I can wrap some paper around. So I think I'll make two tubes three inches wide or long for the axles to go through because these are the axles and they're four inches so if I make them three inches for the tubes that should give us plenty of room either end and then for the length well, I'll just make them this sort of length I don't know how long that is it's about seven inches three inch 
strip. So I'll just wrap this round here. I'll put glue on it. I'll just wrap it up like that and that'll be our axle tube. And side members are going to be the length of this drinking straw. So that's seven inches. Now I'm going to wrap some bits of paper around the end and glue them at the same time to join it all together. To join the axle tubes to the chassis, I've cut some two inch squares of paper. I'm going to glue the tube in the middle like that and then wrap it round and glue it on like that. We've moved up to my workroom because my grandchildren are here running wild downstairs. So, I don't know how strong those wheels will be. We'll find out in a minute. My plan is to bend just a little bit at each end, although we can only do one end at a time. And then I'm going to cut another circle and glue it on there to hold it in place. So I'll cut those out and that will be a third layer of paper on each wheel. They're going to warp a little bit because they're getting wet with the wet glue. That's the car finished, but I'm going to let the glue dry a bit before we try and run it at all. The glue has dried, so we'll give it a test run in the kitchen. The two red lines on my kitchen floor there are a metre apart and the target is for this little car to go two to three feet. So if it goes from one red line to the other red line it's done more than three feet. And it's only a push along car so I've just got to give it a push to see if it goes that distance. we had success. Now I'm going to stick a little fan on it and see if we can make it into a fan car. Nothing clever, just an ordinary handheld fan. But I'll just rest on there. So we can just push it along and it does the three feet or we can stick a little fan on it and it works as an ordinary fan driven car. It doesn't go very straight but we'll just chase it with the camera. That'll do. I'll just try pushing it and see how far I can get it to go when I push it. Well, that was the length of my kitchen. So that was about five metres when it hit my cupboard. So that works fine. 